Hello and welcome to the Spring Security and Dapp Integration in SAML extension. In this section, we would talk about security additionals. So what we are going to learn first, what is JAS and how can we integrate a Spring Security with JAS? What is OAuth and how can we use OAuth with Spring Security? So the first video in the series would be what and how JAS works. So JAS is Java Authentication and Authorization Services. So JAS is just an authentication module provided by Oracle Java and it was introduced in 1.3 or 1.4 and uh, this can be used as an authentication module just like the Spring Security Authentication module as an authentication object and uh, JAS has the principle. So JAS has a principal object which stores the authenticated object as well as the roles. So roles and the authenticated object are represented as principal in JAS. So if you want to integrate, let's say you have a legacy application working on JAS already and you want to move to a Spring Framework and want to stick to authentication module of JAS instead of a Spring Security uh, provided authentication module. So Spring Security provides you a support of JAS so you can integrate a Spring Security easily with your already legacy application of JAS authentication module. You don't have to change the authentication module if, if it was working on JAS. Also. So let's see how JAS work first of all. So let's imagine this is a login controller. User has passed his username and password and it has been fetched into the login controller by the request parameter. So let's say username is a request parameter. Password is also a request parameter that had been fetched into the login controller. So now this login controller has a class this is just a normal class, let's say callback handler and this is your callback handler. So I will call it, let's say own callback handler. So this callback handler that you are creating in the login controller that this is a, just a class and then you are creating the object of this class, which implements the interface callback handler from Java Security Auth callback package. So this class, let's say you have created, we will see what this class is and this class is being passed the username and password entered by the user. So user has given the username and password which has been fetched as a request parameter and passed to the class own callback handler. So its own callback handler has two class members. One is the string username and a string password, let's say. And you are going to set this username and password to callback handler which has been passed by the login controller into the object. So let's say you are doing it into the constructor of own callback handler. Now you have another class own login module. This login module implements an interface Java Security Auth SPI login module. And this is also a class just like the own callback handler that you have created. Now this own callback handler has a method handle and which takes the array of objects of type callback, let's say. Once you implement the callback handler interface, remember we are talking about JAS, we are not talking about the Spring Security as of now. So in JAS, when you implement the callback handler interface, then you need to provide the handle method, which takes an array of callback. Now own login module that you have created should have a login method from where the login process of the user should start because till now the user has only passed his username and password that has been set into the callback handler. Now this login method of own login module will call the handle method of your callback handler and passes an array of callback. So what is this callback? There are two kinds of callback, let's say name callback and password callback. So this is thing just to store the username and password that has been sent by the user. So let's imagine that these two object of two different class name callback and password callback has been set into a callback array has been passed to the handle method by the login method. Now what this handle method does is, is just set the password and username into the respective callbacks. So it will pick up the name callback from the callback array and add the username or set the username into the name callback. Similarly, it will take the password and set the password into the password callback. Now, once this has been set, the login method of your login module, you can use that login method to authenticate your user. Let's say you have a database or LDAP server or whatsoever. That's where you are storing the username and password. So you can 
get the username and password that has been set into the callback that means name callback and password callback by the callback handler and you can compare them with the database or LDAP stored username and password and you can verify the normal procedure of authentication that's how it's done now who does call this login method of your login module so you understood the process so how does it work what is the callback handler and what is the login module what is the handle method and what is the login method but who does call this login method so there is another class login context uh, the object of login context needs to be created which takes the login module and your callback handler as an argument to login context constructor but it doesn't take the objects directly so how does it take it so your login module in jazz needs to be defined into a configuration file so let's say you have created a configuration file which has the context name so the context name let's say you are keeping it like jazz context right and then in the curly braces what you are going to give us the login module so your class path so that's what you give in the configuration file and that configuration file is read by the login context to check the class path of login module where you have defined the login module so you would have to create a config file this config file should be a security policy file. This configuration file will be placed in your project. The path will be placed in the JRE security live security file. And then this file will be read by the login context to get the class path of your login module. So that's how the first constructor argument is login module name, which will be read from the configuration file. So configuration file has the location or the class path of your login module. Now the second argument is just an object of the callback handler it uses. Now once the login context object has been created, it has a method of login. So what you do is you create a callback handler, you create a login module and then in the login context object, you pass it and you call the login method. Once you call the login method, everything happens. Now the login controller, the passing of username and password from the login controller to the callback handler you have to take care of that and then everything goes easily so that's how the authentication of jazz works now to talk about authorization what happens is once the principal is authenticated you know what user it would be right so in your config file you create the role as well so you create the principal and we are not getting into more detail of jazz because we would be learning about how can you use jazz with the spring security but to give you a nutshell to authorize the request in that case because you have already authenticated the login method you need to provide the roles separately into the config file so that's how jazz works